Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Omega Ruby Bird Lock. How are we all doing today? If y'all are enjoying all this, make sure that you, of course, leave a like and a comment. And if you are new here, make sure you subscribe. Anyway, let us do a quick, quick team recap. First out, we've got Kawembi, the Swingle, Keen Eye ability, Water Pulse, Quick Attack, Steel Wing, Wing Attack, Quick Claw, uh, item. And then we've got Kevin, the Tail, Guts ability, Wing Attack, Aerial Ace, Steel Wing, Quick Attack, and last but not least, it's Chickadude, the Combuscan, Blaze ability, Double Kick, Heck, Ember, Flame Charge. Alright! I think it's time for us to get started. Uh, this is not the right place. You need to go into the museum. Which we can only get into once we talk to the dude over in here. Ba, 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 ba. Uh -huh. This goes here, and that goes over there. Then what does this thing go? And what about that doohickey? Ah, oh, I can't make heads or tails of this. Huh? You? Oh, sorry. I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to draw up designs for a fairy. Oh, those pods you have. Those are the Devon pods, but hmm, this won't do. Guess Captain Stern is probably off at the Oceanic Museum again. Sorry, but could I ask you to find the captain and give the pods to him? Sure thing, Doc. The game made it so that if you, for whatever reason, don't have the 50p, uh, they'll let you go through anyway for free. Alright, talk to this person. Oh, no. Talk to this person. Oh, no. Sorry. What I meant to say was, talk to this person. Ah, what are you doing here? Me, I'm the Team Magma member you thumped before, remember? Here, take this. Now go leave me alone. <laughs> anyway, now we gotta go upstairs and talk to Captain Stan. Hmm? Yes? Oh, if you're looking for Stan, that would be me. Ah, those must be the pots I ordered from Mr. Stone at Devon. Thank you for bringing the case all this way. Now we can be prepare for our expedition at last. Ah, just a moment, we'll be taking those parts. What was that? Who are you people? We are Team Magma, our boss has need of the parts in that case, so relinquish it to us at once. I knew you were gonna lead with a Numel. Which is why Kwembi is here to beat your MB. Yeah, I didn't know where I was going with that either. Easy. How? Well, I'm just good. This is disastrous. Yep, now it's your turn. They walk like robots, so stiff and... <laughs> nice, you missed. Thank God. Up is a numel. Ah, uh, yes, we will take air cutter. Oh, 
Could it be? Yes, it could be. <gasps> Kevin! Yeah, Kevin. Good job, Kevin. How could a future Ace Crunch of Team Manga be defeated? What should we do? We must obtain that case. Maxi. Now, here I was wondering how you could be held up in the simple act of seizing the case. Do I take it you are being stymied by this child? Hmm. Though you are but a child, your eyes tell me of your fierce determination. My heart is pounding in my chest. Yes, I think I can see why my lowly grunts could not stand one minute against you. I am called Maxi. I stand as the head of Team Magma, a noble organization whose goal is to propel humanity to even greater heights of progress and evolution. Indeed. And you are one of the young persons who may shape, shape our society's future. Considering that fact, I believe I shall educate you in the ways of the world. The land. It is the sage upon which humanity stands. The land exists so we humans might continue onward and upward, stepping into the future. For us to continue growing and evolving, humans require a grand stage upon which to send, a land upon which we can stride forward, a land we can explore, develop, exploit. This is the basis for the growth of all human endeavor. That is why we, Team Magma, must increase the landmass of this world, believing that this will lead to a future of eternal happiness of humanity, and consequently, for our life. I suppose the concept may still be too difficult for a child to comprehend. Is that the case? At least I've tried to open your mind. I will take my leave now. I will not be lenient next time. Young lady. Ah, Crow, is it? That was quite a tense situation. Thank you for helping me out. Oh, yes. Can I have those parts, please? This is it. I can't be standing around here. Yeah, you really can't. Oh, by the way, if you actually don't give uh, get the TM from the grunt, he's still down here. They'll actually be right here until you get the TM. So you can come get it at the very end of the game if you so desired. Welcome to the Traveling TM Shop. None of these things are things I care about. Oh wait, no. Energy Guru would be okay, but we don't have any use for it. We don't really need the incenses. We got Alakazite. It's a shame we're not gonna use Alakazam. So wait, what's the difference between wave and sea incense? 20%? 20%. Oh, but if you give it if if you give a wave incense to a female mantine, uh it will hatch into a mantike. And if you give a sea incense to a female Meryl Azuril and breed it, you will get an Azuril.
All right, what are these stats? Significantly better. Like, they're not amazing, but significantly better. All right, let's go heal real fast. That's Lucia and Ali doing a shoot over there. Are you serious, Lucia? Let's go. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Lucia here. Me and my Alteria, Ali, have come to say Port City's Contest Spectacular Hall for a bit of fun. Well, then watch me as I dive right in again today. Yeah. Dazzling, dizzying, doldrums, defying. Lucia's miraculous contest scouting. Starto. Scout me to be your next boyfriend. Alrighty, I'm gonna bring another fantastic trainer into the wild world of contests. Eeny, meeny, miny. You there, watching me with that baffled expression on your face. Hi, have you never joined in a contest? That's just what I wanted to hear. Then let's get the show on the road. This is the trainer I'm gonna scout today, and her name is... Crow. When I took a good look, I could easily see that Crow is a powerful trainer with several badges of her own already. Crow, you can enjoy contest spectaculars at the Pokemon Hall right now. Now listen up. Because I don't want, just want to see you making your Pokemon strong. I want to see you bringing out a whole new brilliant side of them. So here you go, take these. This is a contest pass. And the next is a Pokeblock kit. Her story begins today. A sudden encounter, miraculous contest scouting. Well, that's what I call it. Now, everybody out there watching, you better expect great things from Crow because I do. And she's like, all right, get out of here, kid. Scan this Altaria. All right, let's take a look at what our Pokemon moves are, shall we? I got to do cool. Yeah, we're gonna do cool. And Kevin is gonna be a star! Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, Crow, could it be? Could it be? Could it? Oh, you're gonna try a contest for me? Oh, I'm happy! Watcha! You're actually the 100th trainer that I've scouted. It's a really big deal. It's gotta be fate. Yep, 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 yep. And we got a costume. It is absolutely frilly and ridiculous, if you ask me, but whatever. This is so, so cute! Whatever.
Come in. We're going to show everyone how cool Kevin is. Jeremiah and Maku Waku. <laughs> no one's going to cheer for Kevin, though. Poor Kevin. Poochin! Oh, we got some cheers. Psych! That wasn't us. Come on, Kevin! <laughs> Such a lukewarm reception. They're like, mm. So lame. Uh-oh. And do something cool. Yes. You may have gotten the crowd excited, but I'm about to take it out. Our birds are the coolest. Skies. <laughs> Trying to smell salts again.
Oh, it's pumped. Please don't bite. It's probably gonna bite. Oh no, scary face. Yeah. Makuhita is probably going to screw up. Oh no, Makuhita is going to get some points. Oh no, he didn't. Nice. We destroyed that talent though. Contests, yo. That was all from the talent portion, by the way, because we got nothing from the initial coolness factor. Because we're so cool. Wow, grass, I watched it all. You were great. Hold on, do you get anything for doing the contests? Hold on. I wanna take a look at something real fast. Pick one contest. I was just curious if, like, um, the, um, if she gave us, uh, like, the Altaria Knight or whatever. She does not. Hi, have you got a moment? So we just got ourselves a cosplay Pikachu. Yeah, I'm gonna call you... Cannot use Kazuchu, but we've got a Kazuchu. But you can see how adorable Kazuchu is. Because I was going to use Kazuchu if, uh, or not use Kazuchu. I was gonna do more of the um, contests if we actually got like good items for them. All right. 
Though you get free items and shit in here. From your fans. Alright. Are there anything we can catch up here? Negatory. In fact, it's kind of dangerous in this area. Let's keep going! Head for Mount Chimney. Chimney, crickets, chimney. Do -do -do. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gonna have to start grinding up again a bit higher because we have to get past infamously one of the hardest uh, fights. Our rival. with a marsh tomp, uh, puzzle. Curse you for eating that orenberry so early in this attack. You little dickweed. Oh, you're gonna encore me? Huh? You think your little encore gonna stop me? You're wrong! It's gonna make me beat you up even easier, nerd. Nope. Ow. How dare you. Nice. A low roll and then a high roll. Nice. Autumn. Oh dear, this just won't do. Yes, it won't. It won't do for me to beat you up too easily. That's a plusle or a minin. Okay. Well, I think that is a good place for us to leave it off for today. And when we pick it up next time, well, we got a bunch of trainers to beat up, potentially even our rival, as well as the trick house to start checking out. So, anyway, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And until the next time, everybody, stay. Funk a pebble.